Hi guys and welcome back to another Sonic Academy Tech Tip. In this one I'm going to show you how to um, use the, the, very, um, the very audio control inside of QBS5. It's a, it's a new feature that's very similar to Melodyne. Um, but it's actually built into QBS so you don't actually have to use um, Melodyne uh, plugin or, or extract and uh, use uh, Melodyne Studio if you have that. And I've just got a plain vocal here, and I've just I'll just turn the uh, stereo delay off here for now. Men, watch out! The tables turned. Get close, and you'll get burned. Men. Okay, so we've just got it's just a mono vocal, and if you just double click on the vocal, and you go to the left hand side here. There's a tab called Very Audio, and if you just uh, open that tab. And if you click on the pitch and warp button, it'll analyze that uh, audio file. And it'll create um, a sort of um, almost like a MIDI collection um, of all of the uh, the pitches that are sung throughout that clip. And as you can see, um, all these wee wiggly lines are where the, the, uh, the pitch of the, the singer goes up and down. And uh, if you just go over to the left hand side again here. We can, uh, as long as this uh, pitch and warp control is on, we can actually move these man, notes man, around. Man, 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 And it previews them. Man, man, As you man, move them up and down. Man, 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 man. And uh, you can also um, flatten out uh, the pitch of the singer. So if you wanted that sort of robotic. Um, R and B type sound or sort of share. Man, 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 man. It'll take out the the pitch, um, a vibrato almost from the the singer. And uh, so one of the things you could do is highlight across, um, the notes, and you could, um, if you go to this pitch quantize, it will snap the pitch to the the nearest note, and it's depending on how much you set it to. So. If you were to put that right the way up, it's going to move all of the notes to the nearest note that it, that it can find. Man, watch out, the table's turned. And if you were to turn the straight and pitch up on all of those notes, it'll flatten all of them as well. Man, watch out, the table's turned. And then if we were to put them back down again, Man. We could drag them all up Man. by a couple notes, a couple semitones, and it would uh, change the key of the vocal. Man, watch out, the table's turned. You can hear there is a bit of artifact going on, but um, it is doing it in almost in real time. So. Man, 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 watch out, the table's turned. Yeah, so a couple of artifacts are to be expected. Um, if you were to use the likes of Melodyne Studio, this... Uh, the artifacts would be less apparent. Um, so if man, I put, this, put this back down to where it was. You can also you can also move about individual man, notes, so you could change the whole. Uh, ja, ja. You could change the way that the vocals was originally intended to sound. Man, what? Child. Man, watch out, the table's turned. Okay, so it is a very useful tool in getting a quick turnaround on being able to pitch your, your vocalist uh, up and down. Um, we're going to be doing a comparison between it and uh, the Melodyne Studio very soon. So I'll see you again in the next tutorial.